Hi everyone and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to show you how to connect to your Fasos Pop or IMAP mailbox using Outlook 2019. So first things first, open up Outlook and if you've used Outlook before uh, you'll come into this area here so go to file and add account. If you'd never used Outlook before this is what you would have seen first, welcome to Outlook. So now we're gonna, the best thing to do is do the advanced options and check that box first so we don't forget to do it. Um, so we need to have that checked and then enter the email address you're going to set up. So I'm going to do will at fasthostwebinars.com and then just click connect. Now this will take a couple of minutes, uh, so I'm just going to pause the video, but don't panic if it does take a couple of minutes for, for your computer to, to get through this little bit here. Right, so now we need to choose our account type. Uh, we're going to we've got to choose Pop or IMAP. Now you can choose Pop or IMAP here. Uh, there are differences between them. IMAP is generally better if you've got more than one device. It's going to connect to this mailbox. Uh, so if you've got a phone, for example, or another laptop, better to use IMAP. Uh, you can use Pop if you're just going to connect this one device to your mailbox. And I've linked a video description. I've linked to a video in the description that does explain the difference between both. Um, so if you're not sure, check that out if you want, but I'm going to go with IMAP for this. You can't go too wrong. The settings will be the same generally. There's a couple of differences, but I'll talk about that as I go along. So mail server will be mail.livemail.co.uk. Port is going to be 993. If you were using POP, it would be 995. These bits can stay as the R encryption method should stay like that, and we don't need to check that box. And outgoing mail is going to be smtp.livemail.co.uk. And the port is going to be 465, and that is the same for both POP and IMAP. And there we and that's all uh, the same there. So click next. Now enter the password for the mailbox and click connect. Now, oh, sometimes that can take a few minutes. It was very quick on that occasion, um, but sometimes that can take a few minutes. So if we click OK now, and we can should see it start populating now. And that's it. My uh, my mailbox is starting is ready to use on Outlook. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.